Hello and welcome back. So, um, here in the nether then, you can see this is a creature called an imp. Take the imp out, like so. You can see we're going to get imp leather. We'll now look at the uh, usages for the imp leather. You can also see that there's actually thorncraft um, aspects which have been added as well to the mod. You can see that we've got um, uh, four pieces of leather are going to be two regular leather. Um, five are going to create an imp skin helmet, which is a uh, it's obviously got some enchantments on it. Um, same for the, uh, the jerkin or uh, the chest plate, uh, leggings, and finally we have the boots as well. So yeah, um, now as you can see, when I killed it, we got um, raw imp hide. Um, see the uh, tool tip says eating this probably isn't good for you. Um, I can't eat it in the moment, but yeah, I think it gives some poison. Um, if we get a furnace out, we could probably cook that as well. Let's try it. Okay, so basically, the uh, thing about the nether is you can see that this land I'm on is called t um, Tainted Soil, right? So, Tainted Soil, um, what that is, is uh, there's a few recipes for it, but it's basically um, a large amount of nether X being replaced by Tainted Soil. If we look it up, um, we can see that there's actually um, some facades for it as well, interestingly enough. Um, we go into Recipe and do... Uh, look at the um, what recipes are available for it we can see that tainted soil can be mixed with heat sand to make soul sand um, heat sand is also uh, and you can see if we cook this up we can see we get uh, cooked in pied um, which I would imagine is probably a lot healthier so if we look through we can see there's some heat sand over here all this orange stuff right here is heat sand now if we look up here as well you can see we've got one of the, the uh, trees um, this tree is um, a blood sapling, and you can see this tree is characterized by the fact that it grows upside down. And indeed, if we look at the, uh, I could actually, I wonder if there is a, a natural thing here. May well be. Mm. There we are. It's a seed bag there. So there we go. We can see that's the blood sapling. Um, there's also, we've got the darkwood sapling. Uh, the fusewood sapling and the ghostwood sapling and these are all um, native trees to the nether um, and also um, so you can see here we have one so this I believe that's the darkwood sapling um, you can just get an axe perhaps is there going to be an axe here and you can see also that all these um, so yeah one thing I didn't mention actually is that when you kill these spiders these um those are these heat scar spiders that I spawned at the beginning of the uh, first episode they're actually um native to the nether so if I turned I'm on peaceful now but if I turned it onto another mode they would actually appear here um yeah so yeah um you can imagine um well let's get off creator first get this and we get the dark wood um you know, the dark wood planks and you can see we can get the uh the crafting table as well similar to a lot of the other things it's not actually listed in any eye but a lot of these trees have got that functionality um the fuse wood sapling um uh yeah fuse wood sapling let's put that there um get some bone meal and yeah, I'm going to talk. I mean, there's a few things I'm, I perhaps missed out. So let's try this with the axe. Boom. Okay, so you can see what happens there. It's a very explosive tree. And a lot of these things, like I've, um, like I've alluded to before, they have um, slabs. And in, in, the more, in uh, current versions of the mod, actually, they've all got buttons as well. Um, so yeah, now dark wood. So yeah, this was a dark wood, wasn't it? Let's have a look, see if we can see any of the... I think I may have sheared some of the leaves off this dark wood before. If we try another one, we might be able to see if we can find any different leaves. There we go, there's one. And we can see if we're going to break this one. Hmm. Now, the reason why that might not be working is because... Um, we need uh, to get a darkwood camera. Now, a darkwood camera is a bit like a grafter from forestry. Um, as you can see, well, that, that allows us at least to get the block. Nether tree flowers. Hmm. So, yeah, we can do that. And you can see that basically we make uh, 
and get the dark wood bow. And all these tools are basically made in a very, uh, as you can imagine, they're using only the individual and the flame strings from the spiders. Um, yeah. Um, so if we look at the recipe for the flame stream, we can see everything that we can create with them. There should be a fair amount here. So we'll just look at that very briefly. Um, so you can see we've got the fuse wood, the dark wood bow, um, blood wood bow, ghost wood bow. So the four trees are um, characterized it's like so. Yeah. So that's all you can do with that then. Um, the tools, of course, are from the actual planks themselves. And like many things, you can do uh, the slabs, um, that sort of thing. So dartwood leaves, and so yeah. So yeah, actually, oh, there's actually three different types. So this is the one I was actually looking for, this one with the uh, white markings. Um, oh, here's one. So get that, you can see we get an apple. Um, yeah, potash apple. I believe that's something to do with chemistry. Potash is a, an old chemistry word. Um, yeah. Um, we've got the ghostwood sapling. I may not grow here because there's not enough space. Oh, no, it's fine. And oh, there's one right there anyway. Um, yeah, so. And we can use uh, the different hatchets on uh, the different trees there. Um, and I've, yeah, I've gone through the blood. So I've gone through the the bloodwood something so yeah there's also going to be um a range of other stuff so let me just uh fuse with dark wood blood ghost wood yeah pretty pretty happy that we've done all this stuff so you see there's also so remember in um the old world there's the raspberry the blueberry the blackberry and the malaberry bush um over here we've actually got uh, a few more different types uh, one thing i should mention as well um well i'll mention i'm going to mention a few more things in the overworld uh, later on but yeah, basically we've got different types of uh, bush as well. Um, yeah. So let's think about that. Um, can we find these other bushes? I wonder if they're here. Here they are. Blightberry, duskberry, skyberry, and stingberry. So what these um, do is they actually um, provide... Um, yeah, we're going to do usage. I don't think they've got any usages. No. Okay. So, yeah. So all these bushes, blackberry, dustberry bush, they grow in a similar way. Um, and I can just, I could just, um, you know, just plant a few of them. It wouldn't be huge problem. Yeah, and then they're going to grow in a similar way there. Um, but as you can imagine, you're going to get stuff from them. You're going to get the blackberry, you're going to get the dustberry, and obviously, you know, you, you, uh, you get it once, and then, you, then the bush will be destroyed next. And these are actually going to all provide different kinds of effects. So if I just move some of these into my inventory, I can very, very briefly just uh, talk about the effects here. Um, yeah. So if we go for the Blightberry, again, we've got the quick um, eating animation. So you get poison for a few seconds, regeneration for a few more seconds. So there's that. Uh, Dustberry. You can see we've got blindness for a few seconds. And then we've got night vision for quite a few more seconds, actually. About 13 seconds. You can see... Interesting effects there. All right, so so we've done blightberry, dustberry. Now we need to do the skyberry. So the skyberry, here we go. Uh, so we've got slowness and a jump boost. I think the FOVs changed slightly as well there. Okay, so there's the end of that one. Uh, next one. Okay, mining fatigue and strength. Okay, so that's what they're going to do. Um, yeah. So um, now. Next thing I want to talk about um, is going to be these mushrooms. Here we are. You can see some fully grown bushes over here. Um, this is what the mushroom looks like. Um, but they're actually not called mushrooms. They are called glow shrooms. Uh, you can see. So let's have a look there. Um, if we go, if we look on the first page here, we can see we've got the green one, uh, the purple one, and uh, yeah, green, purple, and blue. And these can just be grown with bone meal in a similar fashion uh, to you know everything else, really. Let's leave that there. Just put that down, and you see it will generate a bit of light. And these can be found all over the place. And then it really is simply a case of just uh, bone mealing it. Um, to get these uh, transparent, and you can actually walk through them as well. Funnily enough, when you're in them, you actually get a nausea effect of a few seconds as well. Um, hmm, what if this one gives a similar effect? 
try it. Yeah, I think maybe they all give the nausea effect. Oh no, that was the same colour, was it? Let's try the blue one. Oh, well, there's a purple one, I suppose. Yeah, it all seem to give a similar effect and all seem to provide some light sources. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, we can actually see all the different types of crafting table in the... Um, in the regular creative menu, all the different bookshelves as well provided. There's also fences as well, which I haven't mentioned. Um, and there's also there's certain blocks which are um, unique uh, to certain biomes, so all terminal blocks or biomes. It's maybe to do with biomes of plenty. Um, and I believe biomes of plenty was actually built in an early version of Extra Biomes Excel. So it may be to do with this blue grass, um, autumn grass, and they can be made into uh, they've got their slabs as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, actually, you know, I may just, um, I'm just going to very, very briefly point out some of the things I haven't. So I've mentioned how to do all the sticks, how to do all the weapons. Um, they are, as you can imagine, I've mentioned pretty much everything. Um, cactus juice is a, um, is a basically a modification to the uh, original vanilla cactus recipe. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to look through that. So we've got cactus juice. Um, we in you are now. So you can see one piece of cactus is going to make uh, cactus juice there. Um, and what was the other one? So, so this uh, saguaro cactus. Um, yeah. So we do the saguaro fruit. Let's do the usages for that. And yeah, it can basically be made into... Uh, if you cook the, some of these things up, it can be made into... Is this actually going to work? No. All right. Well, yeah, they can be made into cactus green anyway. That is that was the real uh, thing about that. Hmm. So anyway, what's the other thing? So the clouds also have got their recipe. If you look at the um, clouds which are indigenous to the Nether, we've got the ash cloud and the uh, sulfur cloud. Um. So you can see three by three converts into charcoal. Two by two. Is that going to work in here? It does. Um, can make into sulfur and then to do and then if we did a we did that in the two by two again we would get gunpowder from that so that's how that's going to work so yeah so, so yeah um, so tainted soil I've mentioned I mentioned the mushrooms um, so I mentioned I think I talked about barley as well um, I'm just trying to think yeah with the um, with the redwood tree um, is a pretty large tree um, but it takes about 10 days to grow. But it's basically, yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, but essentially it's a huge tree, probably bigger than any other tree I've seen in the game. It almost goes to the top of the world. It's a massive tree. Um, and yeah, you can make it in a seven by seven, or I believe it may be quicker with a nine by nine. So there's that with the redwood tree. And the redwood tree is unique in that it has uh, its leaves and it's the, um, the roots uh, have got different types of wood. You can make two different types of door as well. So yeah, so a little... Uh, so a little bit there as well to mention and yeah i mean i'm getting close to having mentioned pretty much everything in the mod up until this point um and even a little bit after um cotton um if you do um if you do uh, the thing about cotton is that um i'll just briefly say it because i know what it is um basically three pieces of cotton are going to make um one piece of string and then you can um yeah and then you can make it into wool as well so with nine pieces, so basically and, and nine pieces of cotton and make one wall. So basically, um, if you can imagine, it's basically saving from 12 um, because, yeah, you could because you could make string in that way. Uh, could briefly just look at it, actually, um, just to sort of confirm all this. So we go to cotton down here. Oh, yeah. And there's the blue dye as well. So that's a unique blue dye, which is not the um, vanilla one. Um, and that is from Bluebells. So yeah, you can see three there and then nine there to make the wall. Um, so yeah, so if you've got a little a square of four, you get one. You know, you get a square. You'd need a, you'd need twelve when you're here and then nine here. Um, and yeah, the, the blue dye is just put a blue bell there. You're gonna get two blue dye out of it. Um, and yeah, I think I think that is pretty much um, covering it. Uh, I suppose I could try and just hmm 
Now, there was one. Let's see if I can actually get this to work. I may as well, seeing as I've covered everything now. Um, um, could just get this. Let's see if we can get this to work. Is that how you do it? Or is it the fruit you put in, I wonder? No, it seems to work all right like that. Hmm. So, yeah, you can get various different dyes from it as well. It's going to give us the regular cactus green. So, yeah, that is about it. Um, like I say, the uh, tree... Uh, yeah, um, I probably... I, if um, In probably in another series, I probably, when I do find one of those uh, massive trees, I will show it. Um, it just takes, you know, for to say 10 days, you literally have to play the game for about four or five hours or just leave it there. Um, and yeah, uh, it's kind of a shame I can't show it, but at the same time, it is just a massive tree. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to Journey Map. So this is a very cool uh, mod. Now with all the one point, I've pressed J to access the menu. Now with um, all the... Um, Fall on and off there. I'll talk about that in a minute. There we go. Um, with all the um, 1.64 stuff coming out, um, this this is just a room I uh, built um, um, with the creator uh, with the world edit tool. And what I actually did is I, I put one corner of the cuboid and the other corner of the cuboid, and then accidentally I turned the entire 48,000 blocks in this cuboid uh, to um, minecart tracks and i'll show you why in, in a bit this is going to be about journey map but it's also going to be a little bit about my exploits in this world which i spent a little bit of time on and as you can see I, i've 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 torched up the place <laughs> quite a lot but yeah so the great thing about this is um there's a lot more cartographic options now before of course we, everyone was just using ray's minimap on servers though it was a bit different because People use DIN map and this as well, Journey map. It's actually your version. This is version 3.1 Unlimited, I believe, is what it's called. Um, I think it will actually tell me here. Yeah, 3.1.0 Unlimited. Um, and you can also see I can open a browser window. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Um, but the great thing, anyway, is that um, this mod it really is kind of pretty cool. You can see I've got this cave option here. Um, if I do cave, show caves off, let's see what happens. Then you can see we go back to the overworld map. Okay. Um, and also we can do waypoints. So if we've got waypoints um, from another mini-map, perhaps uh, Rays or Zan, maybe. Um, so that'll get rid of the grid as well. That'll probably look quite nice. Uh, do caves off. But yeah, so we've got cave system and we can just um, mouse over this. Um, and we can see all the areas that I've explored. Um, and you can see quite clearly, for instance, uh, if we go here, for instance, we can see quite clearly we've got a village here. We can zoom in really quite far, actually. Really far. I mean, that's almost, I think that is actually individual blocks here. Um, I did actually place down some locations. But yeah, and I made I made this huge, huge bridge using the world edit tool in about about literally about two minutes. That world edit tool is 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 incredible. Um, I've, it's it really is, and I'm, I, that was that was the first video I actually did. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more, and you can really see a great thing about it is actually it's starting to look like a proper map because um, you can see you can see the contouring here as well. Um, to delineate uh, uh, different Y levels, which is very, very cool. Um, and, and yeah, we can see a lot of stuff. You can see there's a slime there. Um, if we look at our location, we can see we've got these um, these dynamic uh, there's dynamic updates as well of all these all the mobs. You can see them moving about as I stand in this. Uh, in this large pit which is very very cool and then we can go to the browser and there's also an auto mapping feature which is a very very cool feature so let's just uh, zoom out a little here um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly eastwards um, yeah let's let's um let's go let's go to the east and then we'll and then I'll show the auto mapping feature off as well 
So I'm just trying to think of how I managed to get in here. Um, there's a mana creeper, of course. Um, I'm using, uh, incidentally, I'm using um, Horizons 1.09 as of today, which is the um, 7th, I believe, January 2014. Um, as of today, it has been another um, update. It's 1.10. I'll be moving on to that soon. But I wanted to do a video, of course, with uh, with this world because... You know, because I just, I just, I just, I just, you know, I just played for about an hour or so. Um, I wonder if I can find where my exit was here. You see, there's lots of nice ores um, around. Um, but I am curious if I can actually find a way out. Uh, let's see if I can find a way out. Probably not there. I think it might be here, actually. No? Hmm. I'll look for about another minute, actually. I want to look for a little bit longer, because I just... Did I go down here at all before? Not much. Doesn't look like I did. So I may have... This may be an area that I've been to. Looks, looks promising. See all the nice ores, and really the, all the stuff at one point six has just been absolutely incredible. Um, because the because in a way, like it's like the the portal system as well. Um, you know, this it's all this sort of like advance towards, you know, towards much more sophisticated stuff. And I believe even in like there's like hot bar mods as well. Um, there's a few actually. There's a few things I want to talk about here um, that I've been thinking about. Um, I believe there's going to be some new hotbar mods as well, which is going to make the hotbar look more kind of, um, you know, more like a sort of operating system or something. And that's going to be very cool. Um, yeah, if I can't find a way out in about a minute, no, I'm just going to, just going to go out. I'm, I'm sure it's somewhere around here, but there's no point wasting time. Okay, so we'll jump out here. Okay, so it's daytime. Should get in the, the habit of doing um, doing things the other way around. Um, yeah, so well, you don't often find a great wood actually. It's a nice great wood that. See the uh, sort of three layering. And what's that sort? What's the height on that great wood? I wonder. Cause this will, cause sometimes I, cause I mean, I probably see them all the time, but I don't notice it. So we're at 108 here, and yeah, like I say, this is just going to be, you know, I'm going to focus obviously, obviously on journey map, but I'm also going to focus on what I've been doing with this world. So it's a nice world. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out 1.10 as well. So it's 27 high. There we go. So it's a, it's a pretty tall tree. So yeah, I'm going to focus, like I say, on um, um, yeah, this is going to be my pretty my last sort of foray, my first and last foray. Uh, into uh, 109 before we move on to 1.10, and I think that tooltip there, which we talked about Christmas, that may that may be a 109 exclusive thing. Uh, I don't think it will appear because because just because of the timing, this stuff came out. So I wanted to head east, didn't I? So this is going to show that surely isn't it? No, that's just a chunk error there. So let's have a look, see where we are on the map now. Um, okay, so we're, we're moving out. So let's move out a little further. Let's go a little bit further here. Okay, where are we at now? Coral, is this coral? Swampland. Okay. All right. So as we load a bit more new terrain here, I'm going to probably just do a TP in a minute. But we load some new terrain which we haven't got already. And as you can see, you can see this thick layer of basalt down there. Um, 
This is nice actually to look at this. I probably shouldn't, yeah, I knew I was going to end up something like that. All right, so where are we now then? You can see that um, it's only loading a little bit, but there we go, you can see it actually loaded more. Now let's have a look, see what happens if we do um, an auto uh, an auto action here. We do auto map, and we've got this option. We'll make map all regions or just missing reason, regions. Let's try all. And this we can actually, um, so it's going, it's, it's doing a lot here. You can see we're getting more regions coming up. Um, you can see we're getting a lot more regions coming up. And the great thing about it is we don't even have to be in the journey map. This is going to continue in the background as well. So it's going to, it should be a background process. It's going to, it is going to consume a lot of RAM though. Um, Not bad. It's not dropping. It's not going too high. It's going fairly high, but I've got, I've put four gigs on it, which should be enough. Um, I'm getting quite a lot of. Unfortunately, I've got the Ars Magica stuff in front of the uh, frame rate, but it's looking it's looking to be about thirty. And as long as, uh, and in a sense, above thirty is is kind of good enough in terms of YouTube. I'm not I'm not sure. I've always wondered if there's actually. Um, so anyway, if if there's actually a difference if you do it in sixty or thirty when it. And it's an interesting question. We can see we've got some areas mapped there, which we didn't, um, so we can see a bit more. And it really, I mean, it really is a, it is the best looking map that, you know, I've seen for, that I've probably seen ever in Minecraft. I suppose I haven't seen Din Map, and I've heard good things about Din Map as well. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. Let's just um, TP, uh, let's go to Norton Nort. Nort. I'm not quite sure where that is in terms of, I don't know, it's, it's a bit, yeah, I'll just go, I'll head south then. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very cool thing that you can do with this. Um, and there's also been some more interesting updates in terms of usability, because one of the things about 164 is that it all came in a, in a bit of a rush at the end of December, and obviously I wanted to cover as much of, um, of it as I could. Um, and I had to look, I had to really um, isolate and specify what sort of the most important things that were that were going on. Um, and yeah, and as you can see, this is this is a very, very useful technique with the world edit tool. I don't want to um, harp on about it, but it, it is worth noting. And I'm sure there's many, many times in terms of maybe tiling uh, redstone stuff and stuff, you know, and, and making uh, uh, computer architecture and stuff that where that, that sort of um, that copy and paste functionality, even though it could be achieved with the architect table and build a combination. That's something I mentioned in Rotary Craft, but um, it really is it the 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 actual ability. Like here, I did it one block too low, unfortunately. But the actual ability, or two blocks too low, to go and you can see this this track is actually is actually going to go all the way uh, hundreds of blocks, and that was something you couldn't you couldn't do in. Um, in Buildcraft, um, so to, to have these incredibly long uh, tracks is going to be able to make very, very large systems much more feasible. Um, yeah, and so I mean, so that's and that's and that's just a very, very cool thing. You, you can see literally, and this stuff that I've done with the um, um, with that world edit wand. This I literally it was it, I didn't spend more than about half an hour, forty five minutes in it. And the results that I've managed to achieve have been, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, you're just able to do so much more with it. It's just incredible, really. Um, but yeah, I mean, and that's all there is. There's this follow, follow on and off options. And you can also do that. So you can see light sources, which is very cool. Um, trying to think yeah I, th I prefer the grid off actually um, but you can show pretty much everything um, yeah so I may actually um, let me see if I can find this 1k I wouldn't mind just checking out this k one last time just get it on video mm, where did I where does it go let me just uh, and you see something like, um, and one other thing I want to point out as well, 
And I'm doing it here because I also I don't really want to focus another Rotary Craft episode on this. But you can see what I've built here. This is a, this is this would be an incredibly irritating structure to build normally, um, and I I kind of I, I kind of balked it a little bit. But even so, you can see that we can go straight down into the water um, in a very convenient way. Now I believe actually that this is the way um, that I went. I think I went up there last time, didn't I? What did I put down? Here? Yeah, you can see I've really, I went, I went, I really went a little bit wild there with the uh, the creative one, but I wanted to get this on video because um, one of the problems, of course, with um, yeah, and there was a, there was a huge water area here as well, which I cleared out. But yeah, I mean, it's just it's just really good how it's all um, worked out like this. Hello and welcome to Blood and Bones. So we're going to do a world name, Blood and Bones, there we go. And we'll do Biomes O Plenty, Blood and Bones, create a new world. So this is a new mod pack that's come out fairly recently uh, on the Feed the Beast launcher. And what it does is incorporates a uh, plethora of mods, of course. Um, Kind of all, all dedicated to making a very kind of survival experience. Um, you can't craft wooden tools, for instance. Um, what you can really do at the beginning of the game is to get your um, Tinker's Construct items. Um, and what you have to do is you have to get a stone, uh, wooden shovel rather. You can't make stone tools either. You get the wooden shovel. Um, you make a mattock as well to grow some of the seeds, which hopefully you'll find uh, amongst all the tall grass in the environment. Uh, hunger goes down very very fast um, and one of the aims is to try to get items that perhaps not just morsels um, things that are more um, that will fill up your hunger bar more things like finding a village are very useful um, and at the beginning it's best to build a dirt house surrounded by a trench uh, by having a trench um, that ensures that the uh, mobs can't get in during the night. You can't actually sleep either. Um, I believe beds may work for setting your spawn point. Um, and the lot is quite actually quite dependent on spawn. If, if you spawn in an area where there's, no, where there's nothing there, um, you literally, you, you could just die just by walking around. Um, it's very hard to find... Uh, uh, it probably is still possible to stay alive. Um, but it is much more difficult. Um, and it's difficult anyway. Um, so there's a lot of balancing with regards to hunger overhaul, um, uh, iguana t tweaks. Uh, there's also a range of mods on the server. Uh, not on the server, sorry. There's mods in the mod pack, uh, thermal expansion, um, planning logistics, uh, witchery. Uh, okay. So let's just begin here by seasonal forest. Okay. Wow, I'm not seeing any drops here at all. I'm actually quite surprised at that. Aha! Ah, it's not grown yet, is it? Hmm. Yeah, you see, I think these drops have already actually dropped. But what we're seeing is it's just gonna it's gonna glitch for a moment, and then I can should be able to run back and pick everything up. So let's have a look, see if I can do. I'm just gonna attempt to destroy this tree, and hopefully, once we run back, we're gonna get a plethora of different items. Peering eye inventory, or not? Hmm. Well, looks like we didn't get anything there. And that's a shame. But it seems to have fixed itself now, so... Okay, let's move on anyway. So we're going to need uh, one block of wood for the... for... Uh, 
we're going to need uh, one block there. So this is, I'm just making the, uh, I'm just sort of making sure I've got everything I need for the Tinker's uh, Construct tools. Um, and I'll be doing that in a moment. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here of uh, use. That, there's a rubber tree there. Okay, let's just... Uh, so got some food. That's good. Let's go over to the here. Ah, I was hoping that one would actually work. You see, it did that time. Like I say, there's a lot of... A lot of Oh no, there we go. Ooh, that's a decent amount now. I'm thinking if we can actually find any more. This biome looks all right, actually. Mm, it's quite... Mm. Now you see at this point you might think, oh, well, it's time to run around and do stuff. But in fact, it's not really the best idea. Because you see, I've already got 11 pieces of food, which is actually a decent amount. And what I may do this time, well, I've done it, I mean, I've, oh yeah, I've done... I could just take these chickens out there. Hmm. They are running around a bit too fast, and I'm not really in a position to be doing much. So what I might do... I've got a decent amount of uh, of wood here, so... This, this is all oak wood. So I need one piece for that. So with the rest of it, um, we can focus on making some... of these uh, blank patterns, which are going to help to do everything basically. So we do that. Um, so something like that maybe. So there's eight blank patterns. Uh, yeah, maybe I've gone a bit too far with that. Um, let me just get two more pieces here. It would be nice if it actually worked. Oh well, it's not to be. Not to be. Maybe we'll get it working this time. I don't know what happens, it's such a strange glitch. So actually, we're going to do that one last. We'll do stencil table, part builder, and then with this one, what we can do is we go like, uh, yeah, we can go like this. Can we put the tool station back in? Yeah, you can. Okay. So I want to just build up into the. Hmm. Well, I could build up into the air, couldn't I? But I could just jump on a tree as well. Can I get the hit? Yes. Okay. Hmm. So unfortunately, for most of this bit now, I'm probably going to have to just... I mean, I was thinking I could make a shovel and, and just stay underground, but realistically, if, 
Um, yeah, if I had a piece of sand, I could actually make a piece of glass. I mean, how dark is this going to be? Pitch black. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, I'll explain what I'm doing in a moment. I'm just trying to think about what I am actually going to do here. Okay, what I'm going to do now... I mean, it was important for me to do that. I really would like to find some flint if I could. And I'm just wondering where I might find that. I might be able to make food out of these, I'm not sure. Now you swim very, very fast for some reason. Now if I'm lucky, I might actually, might actually find some more food here. I could possibly also make some mud uh, weaponry. Cotton, that's not going to be of any use. Is that something else? Ooh, tasty. Okay, so I need to just wait for these chunks to load. What was that one? Okay. I'm just going to set up shop by this little tree here. I'm going to make this a little house. Like I say, apologies for all these glitches. I can't, it's not even really my fault. Really. If I had to, I could possibly even dig underneath and get these logs. Um. Uh, so how do I want to do that? 
Yeah, it's going to be a fairly small area. I wonder if I can see anything else. No. Oh dear. I can't see where these guys are coming from there. Should I get here? Eight. Is there any room left? So you see the advantage of building under a tree as well, it's kind of transparent, so you actually got at least a, little, a, a small amount of lighting. Um, what can we do with this thing then? No, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. It's a recipe for toadstools. Maybe we just put them in here, they actually do anything. Hmm, doesn't sound too appetizing. No, I don't think we can do much with them. What can we do with this? Should we just turn them into this stuff then? Why is that happening? Oh, sorry. Oh, we could actually have made them into something nice. Into this shroom salad. We had no uh, portobellos or blue milk caps though, so it's... Anything for shroom powder? It doesn't seem like there's any use for shroom powder. Oh yeah, we made all our um, Tinker's Construct stuff. And we still got two blackberries, three spice leaves, leaves rather, and three kiwis. Um, maybe that will get us through the night. But I don't think it's going to get us quite through the night yet. Um, now, can I even do anything with the stuff that I've got? Oh, I didn't mean to make this one, did I? Oh, no. I think they... I was about to say, is this not even going to work? But it will. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cause I, never, I never made this little little one before. Isn't there something else you can do with the little one? I can't remember now. Um, so yeah, let me just... Um, so what resources do I have? I've got some wood. And that's about it. So, with that in mind, we need to... Well, we first would like to be able to access this stuff. Um... Now with a pickaxe, we need. I don't think we can make one of those. We might be able to make a mattock though. Axe head and shovel head. Oh, we could make a battle sign maybe. Sign board. Uh, hmm, maybe we should do a battle sign. Sign board. So let's have a look um, at that one. We've got five blank patterns. I'm keeping a close eye on my health. In fact, I might just eat some blackberries now. I'll eat these as well. Let's 
the axe head, we can't do it, we can't do anything with that. So we can't make a matic yet. Mm. Oh, we can make a signboard there, so let's make one of those. Can we use a stick for it? Many sticks? No. Eat this shroom powder, I wonder. I'm tempted not to, though. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Oh, really? You see, what I would actually like to make is this the sickle, the stone sickle. Um, see, all we need is some flint for that, and it's got plus four attack damage. Um, so we look at actual swords, you can see that's it's actually the same as a wooden a stone sickle is the same as a wooden sword. So it's not too bad. Um, at least give us some I I mean this because this thing has probably got very limited attack damage. So it has got a bit dark now, that's because it's actually night time. But the advantage of that at least we had to tell. Let me just check. I'm playing on hard mode, everything is how I would expect it. Um So I'm not going to think about that. Uh, I'm going to make a frying pan. So we are going to need to find some flint at some point. I do wonder about making a pickaxe though. Um, see, because for the pickaxe... The pickaxe head is only stone there. Is there any way we can get around that? I just want to look at it one more time. No, we just need that. We just need to find that. Mm. Alright, so we're going to have to just do the only things we can do at the moment. So we've got a shovel head. We can make that. Um, let's just... Uh, We, I wonder if we can put this in here like this. No, you can't. I thought maybe you could. So it is night time now, and it's actually very dangerous at night, so you don't really want to be out at night. Unless you want to die. We've got five uh, haunches left on the health. It's not that great. Um, we can also make a, a small dagger as well, so we need a crossbar for that and a knife blade. Ah, so crossbar and knife blade. You see, for the axe we need the uh, that as well. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll probably just um, finish off the rest of the evening just by looking at this. So, crossbar. And a knife blade. Okay. So. See, all these are the same. Now we can make a tool rod. Wait, wait, where did the knife blade go? Oh, sword blade, that's it, isn't it? No. I'm sure I made a... Uh, I've made a... thingy. Battle sign. Knife blade. How did I miss that then? So what was the what were the other ones then? So 
sword blade, white guard, and guard. Yeah, so we made that tool binding. No. It's funny. There's no. I, I don't know why there's no noise of enemies outside. They must be outside. I don't know what that is about, actually. Ooh. Looks like I can actually make arrows. I wonder if I could make a bow, actually. Oh, I guess we can take a tool round. Probably not going to... Um, should we make a knife, then? Let's make a knife, I guess. Oh, we can use sticks for this. The crossbar. Oh, no, wrong way. Um, and there's our knife blade. Uh, yeah, you see, there definitely are mobs around. So this is our kind of basic kind of uh, items that we can get. None of these other ones, unfortunately. We can't make an axe. So for this one, we need more. And you see, when you, even when you try and do something with the uh, stone, it doesn't work. But yeah, we're actually doing all right there. Um, got a few weapons, got a few items. And in fact, we're doing kind of... Well, I can't really see anything, that's the only problem. Hmm. I guess we need some more of this. To be honest, it doesn't matter how much I eat of it. The northern is only going to last for such a small amount of time, it doesn't even matter. Alright, good. Why is it just taking me to almost arbitrary things here? Finally. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we, we could make a wooden scythe. I'm just not sure that's going to really make much difference there. Hmm. No, it's not that one, sorry. Hmm. I wonder if the night is actually over yet. Let me just make that mixing bowl. Just just briefly. Let me just what was the recipe again? Three Planks and a three planks and a stick. Oh, I've got exactly right. All right, so we're going to need to head out now because we've got nothing left to do. Okay, it's three planks and a stick. Hmm. What else can we do with it? Let's see if there's any really basic things we can do with it. The pot is going to be iron there. Salt ore, butter and potato. More iron. 
Everything needs iron there. It's the only problem. Well, I suppose at least we've got it. It's anything that's not going to need iron here. Clay. So clay, with clay we could actually start getting somewhere as well. I'm probably wasting daylight hours there. Um, so where do I want to head off now to? What is that? I can't actually remember what that was. Oh, that's my spawn, isn't it? I reckon we're going to head south. Wow. I've actually never uh, even survived this long before. Because, yeah, I mean, I basically just avoided all the, all the troubles there. Did I get the crafting table? I did. Nice. But like I say, we're still very close to death. Because we've only got three pieces of kiwi left. Okay, let's have a look see what this battle sign can do for us. I got it. I feel like there's something here. That is as strange as it may seem. That meat is useless without a furnace. There's one else thing else here. No, I just wanted to check if that was the case. Okay, so I think this is where we're going to actually die, unfortunately. I mean, I suppose I could try eating this, but it's just not going to—it's not going to be enough. It's going to poison me as well. What's going on here? I can't even eat it. I don't know why that is. Oh, I had a bit of a glitch. And welcome to Britannia, um, part one. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool mod. I'm going to try and go through a decent amount of it today. Now, when you walk around the world, you'll spot a lot of these different flowers. Um, and they all got this myst mystical kind of different colored flowers. Um, so you grab that and you'll get the uh, red flower. And you'll see that when you um, put it in the crafting grid, you can get these petals back. Um, and that's going to be very, very useful as a way to generate uh, Mana. So say we had, uh, so that was the mystical red flower. Let's look at the 
Um, see the mystical white flower. This is actually going to be a very, very important item. This is what it looks like. And yeah. We break that. See, we get the flower. And we're going to get some petals back from that. So yeah, so let's talk about um, what exactly is going to happen here then. Fortunately, there's actually a crafting recipe for the uh, book, the Lexico Britannia. So we'll take that. And that's going to be uh, well, quite useful for this video, actually. So, um, and you can see I was, I was just looking at the recipe before we started there. So yeah, so there's a few different sections in the book. Um, and that was the section we, so, um, flowers, they admit it's a shame. They, so obviously they'll come in all different colors and you can grow the flowers using bone mill. So let's try that. I haven't actually tried this before. I do know a little bit about, uh, the mod. I have researched it a decent amount. Um, doesn't seem to do anything. But then these might already be grown, I guess. Uh, not quite sure what's supposed to happen there. But yeah, that's not important at the moment. That's not really... Oh, I see. I think it means just use bone mill on grass, actually. Yeah, if I use bone mill in enough grasses, it's already quite densely populated here. But I imagine I would get some more of the flowers. I'm not sure if I actually did get some of my item. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So lots of flowers there. Okay. And that's obviously, and they can, and as, I, and as I just said, you can pluck them for the mystical petals that can be used for making magical instruments and plants alike. Um, you can also uh, crush them into floral dye, which which is like any other dye. Um, so that's how, that's what I just did. Put them in the crafting table and got the different coloured petals. Um, if we get a pestle and mortar. So yeah, that's the recipe for it. I'm not going to actually, um, there's not too much point, uh, seeing as the recipe is already there on the screen. Uh, I'll just, I'll just grab the iron, I guess. So we'll just get the pestle and mortar. And if we do this, I believe, yeah, we're going to get these floral dyes. So floral dye. No. Hmm. Oh, right, there we go. So all the different colored floral dyes. Take a look at the usage of that. Yeah. So for instance, we can use that in exactly the same way. Um, we used, um, uh, you know, stuff to get stuff from stained clay and stuff. And it looks like the Railcraft stuff supported and various other mods. Okay, I'm not going to focus on it though. Um, so there's that. All right, so yeah, let's head back to the book and carry on then. And yep, so we've seen that. Okay, that's the end of that section. Petal Apothecary. What well, if a botanist create plant life can do its bidding? One would need special means of infusing plants with mystical energy. Luckily, the uh, petal apothecary, uh, is an incorrect spelling in luckily, uh, does just that. Petal apothecary. Okay. Um, okay. So let's build it first. Let's find, so this is the recipe. We need cobblestone and we need a petal of any kind. And that's going to make the uh, petal apothecary. Okay, so we'll just grab that. Uh, apothecary. Okay, so just grab this. Okay. All right, and we'll just, um, yeah, we may as well just uh, sort of set up shop around here. I don't see why not really. Okay, we are going to need a bucket of water. So I'll just get, I'll get that. And 
I may need multiple buckets of water, so I'll just take a few here. Uh, and then uh, I'll just put the crafting table here, actually, just so I can get on to make sure I don't actually miss the... Uh... There we go. All right. So there's the uh, Petal Apothecary. Um, so we do need these uh, mystical petals, don't we? Um, what I might do, actually, is just get myself uh, an iron chest and just just put a few items in here just because the uh uh oh silver chest um no i'll get an iron chest just because um yeah it does it doesn't work too well just uh one second okay all right so I'm going to put the uh, iron chest down there. And we may need a, a decent amount of petals here. So let me just, um, let's just grab a load of these petals. So white, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, pink, gray, Light green, cyan, purple, blue, brown, green, red, and black. Okay, you can see there's mana petals as well. We'll move on to that in a moment. Um, all right, so, so we we'll started with the, the white petals, then orange, and okay, and we'll just uh, put these in like so. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right. So we just got those petals, just so I don't have to keep on uh, grabbing them from elsewhere. All right. So let's have a look back at the back at this and see what we can do with the petal apothecary. Um. So here we are. The petal apothecary just does that. Once one has set the correct petals in, throwing some seeds in, will finalize the process. Okay, so there is going to be a, a plant that we are going to need to make. So let's try throwing in some, let's get some seeds as well. I believe I was actually able to get something out of it. We need to, one of the important things here is the generating flowers. Um, they're kind of like uh, generators, I suppose, in in, in a sense. Um, so we're going to get some white petals and we're going to throw them. I've actually got some here. Okay, so we're going to throw these white petals in. And then we're going to throw some seeds in. So is that enough? I think it might be. In we'll see what happens. Let's put some seeds in there. Maybe we need one more. I'm trying to remember the recipe. I think it was four. There we go. And you can see from there, we've got a pure daisy. So this is not the white flower. This is a pure daisy. All right. So I actually remember the next bit, so I'm just going to do, uh, I'll just set the time to daytime. So the next bit is, say we have, um, yeah, so not, yep, yeah, okay. Uh, I believe any vanilla wood will work. We'll take wood and I believe it might be it might be stone, but I'm not sure if it is. It might be cobblestone as well. So I will actually check it and I'll think about it. Okay. So yeah, so this is what we just did, the pure daisy. Um, so it's going to purify um, any adjacent wood and stone blocks. Yeah. All right. So this does take around about a minute. So it will take a while. 
All right, so we'll put these in four and in five. Okay. So if we just do something like this. Um, we're going to put some wood in here as well. I'm not sure if it will actually purify. Let me just go into create just to. So I made a little bit of a mess here. So we'll just do something like this. It'll give us an indication of what's going to happen here. And we've got that our daisy, don't we? Um, so we'll grab the daisy. And we're going to place that in the middle there. As you can see, the uh, there's already kind of sparks uh, emanating from the daisy. And that's going to turn it and turn everything into kind of living, uh, living rock, uh, and living, living wood and living rock, which can be used for crafting. So here we go. So that's just what I've done basically. And this was what the recipe I just did four mystical white petals to get the pure daisy. And then you put it in there with the rock. Now, the next bit is a little bit harder because we have to make the runic uh, altar. So we need to link a mana spreader to it um, and right click it with a wand of the, of the, the forest. And then we can use living rock. But of course, we haven't got this, the mana pearl, the mana diamond. So this looks more complicated um, to make it. Now, it took me a while to actually work out what happened here, but fortunately there was actually a clue earlier on. And that was the clue was in uh, generating flowers. Um, so that's going to be quite uh, useful to pay attention to what happened there. There we go, you can see it happening there. All this has now changed into living rock and living wood. Okay, so that's good. But there was a clue, and that was to do with generating flowers. Now this Wand of the Forest is a multi-use tool. Um, so it makes sense to actually make the tool. And that's just done like so. So I'm not going to make it. I'm just going to grab, grab it here. It's quite a lot of ones. That wasn't the best search term. So as you can see, um, depending on which uh, petals you put on, you can get different ones. Um, and I think actually you can do um, ones which aren't listed here uh, with different colored petals. And I don't believe it makes any difference, but I may be wrong. So we'll take uh, this uh, gray one. Okay. So we've got the Wand of the Forest now. Very, very simple recipe. Um, that isn't going to require anything. But of course, the real problem here now, um, well, the real question here, I suppose, is to do with to see how we're going to get the day bloom. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't seem like this is the next step, but it is. Um, so the day bloom is the most basic and rudimentary for generating flowers. Simply put, it performs a modified photosynthesis process in order to transform sunlight into mana. Um, um, so that's what we need because we've got sunlight, but we've got no mana. Um, we have got a petal apothecary, and we have got all these different uh, mystical petals. So that's good. So we need two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Okay. Uh, not quite sure why these donkeys are here, but uh, yeah, it's not it's too, too much of a problem. So what was it? Two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Okay. So two yellow, orange and a light blue okay. so what we're going to do then I might just actually just turn my settings down a little bit um, I've got render distance on normal I'm going to just try doing it bit by bit and see how, how it works see if see if things get better depending on how I do the settings um, okay so we need uh, some more water, of course. 
And we're going to need, uh, so we'll put that nine. Okay. So let's try to put this in the Petal Apothecary. We've got a little spot here. Um, I'm curious to see whether this is actually going to work. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, light blue and orange, two yellow and some seeds. There we go. And it instantly came into my inventory as well. And um, we'll keep the uh, we'll keep it full. All right. So now we've got the day bloom. So what are we going to do with the day bloom? I wonder. This is where kind of where I, I didn't actually look up how to do this stuff. So it may start getting a little bit more confusing for me anyway. Um, I think half a dozen to ten of these should get the job done for now. Okay, so that was the process to get the day bloom. Um, so we're going to obviously assume that we've uh, uh, done that, and we're going to grab some more. Okay, we'll just keep on uh, clearing the inventory here, I think. No. No, oh, well, I guess not. All right, so, all right, so half a dozen, ten of these, will get, so that's fine, yeah. Hmm, okay, so we've got the day bloom. So we read up on the basics. Uh... So how are we going to get the mana in? Well, I know that this is made... This is made in the mana pool. We can make the mana pool. So let's look at the mana stuff now. So now that we've actually know we've got a weather to create mana, let's think about how we can actually store it and uh, use it. An introduction to mana. Okay. It, mana is an ethereal substance in layman's terms, it's a form of mystical energy. It's sensorial, it's sensorial existence. Um, yeah, there should be an apostrophe after the T and exist. Isn't it existence? Existence, I think, is inconstant. And its color depends on the environment it's put in. Yeah, I normally always put apostrophes in, but we'll see. And it would, I think it just, it would see apostrophes here. Mastering manner is one of the most important skills a botanist needs to master. In order to create manner, one would require a set of generating flowers, which we have. This manner can be dispersed by utilizing mana spreaders stored in mana pools. Okay, so we need to, hmm, all right. So mana can be used for myriad different things. It can be used for functional flowers. We don't have any of those. So we we have so we've got the day blooms. <clears throat> okay. So we need to look up mana spreaders and mana pools now to see what to do next. All right, now that wasn't that wasn't right. Okay. Um, mana can be inserted into by use of a managed spreader, and any adjacent mana spreaders will pull mana from it to increase the internal buffer automatically. Any function requires a nearby mana pool. So we can definitely make the mana pool. It's at eight pages, yeah, it is. Hmm. So it looks like this, this is not the one to check yet, because we haven't got any mana. So it looks like mana spreaders should actually be before mana pool. Yeah, all right. All right. All right, we're going to do this now. So we need the mana spreader now. So let's 
and we've got the wand of the forest to change the orientation if it's just so neat and I'm not sure what else it is but we'll see alright so we know that we can make the mana pool just fine can we make the mana spreader just fine let's just look how it's made yes we can because that's living wood and a gold, ing a gold ingot is also required but we can make this Alright, so we're going to put some of these flowers down, and we'll do them like this, so hopefully this will be enough. So something like here. Alright, so we can, we now know that um, it's possible with just, a, with just the materials we've used now, and of course, a piece of gold as well, which uh, um, that we can get the mana spread in the mana pool. That's good. So, we're going to grab the mana spreader and we're going to grab the mana pool. The mana spreader is the most important one. So let's see, can we change the orientation with the wand? Aha! Uh -huh. It does seem to be doing something. Yes, so we can. Oh wow, what's going on with it? It's actually responsive to various different degrees of rotation. I think we need to f go on the opposite side to get it. Oh, wait a minute. If you just hold down shift, it seems to do more. Hmm, it does seem a bit strange how it's operating. I think I preferred it just when I put it down, first of all. So I'm not going to try and rotate at the moment. But when we've got the uh, wand in hand, it seems to show particles of me. So that's good, I guess. Yeah, these particles are definitely coming out now. Can we put one in front, or is that...? It did seem to, sh to indicate... Let me just go back into survival here. No. I thought maybe it would leave the root or something. All right. It does seem to be doing something though. Unknown status. So what about if we put the mana pool in front of it? I'm just tr trying this out for now. What's that say? Accepting power from items. They all seem to be glowing now. But is it going to... yeah. Unknown status. I don't know why we don't know the status. Alright, we'll see anyway. Let's um, go back. Let's read again. What is this picture trying to show?
Hmm. Holding one of the forest to place a beam, it shows where the spreader is pointing at. Hovering over it shows the target. The sparkle is always shown to the point where mana loss starts to happen. I don't know how we're going to get that. I think maybe I should have used the Wonder of the Forest on this. Oh yeah, this is actually... Sh oh, you have to link it. Power's not going up though. Power seems full on this. I feel like this is not rotating correctly. See, it still says accepting power, but it's obviously not. Bearing power to items, accepting power from items. You know what, there is one way to check if this is actually working or not. And that's to actually try and do a recipe with it. Ah, um, wait a minute. Yeah, that actually, yeah, that is getting some power somehow. All right, so that's good. It doesn't look like it's getting much though. So I may need to, it's probably the weakest one, this one I've got in there at the moment. All right. I've got no idea what that means though. Why did it just stop? It's weird how it's working. It's firing mana burst, isn't it? All right, so we've made that anyway. Oh, we're not going to upgrade it yet. Well, we can't even make this mana steel yet. So we can't do that anyway. And then we can upgrade it to different colors. Okay. So there's the spreader. And we'll ch check with the pool again. Yeah. All right, let's try some of these then. So we can make mana still with iron. So let's try that first of all. All right. So I don't know if there's going to be enough in here to make it work. We'll see though. All right, so what I think we have to do here, accepting power.
Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let me just check that I've got this doing this right. Mana pool, yeah. Put the iron ingots in, get that out. Must use, need to use the wand somehow. I'm sure that thing is filling up. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd need to put water in it or something. Hmm. Maybe the power isn't enough. So let me just try putting more power in. Starting up a brand new day. And this is maybe it's to do with the time. It looks like it's going in. Maybe it's not going in. I feel like it is there. Huh. It must be something to do with this thing. I need to make it in a triangle or something. Oh! No, it's not, is it? It's just incredibly shit with the, with the amount of stuff I've got here. It just takes a very, very long time. But the fact that it actually worked, though, is good. All right, that's cool, then. We've got the mana steel ingot. All right, that is good. I wonder what the range of it is there. Can I just put in loads more of these? Probably can, actually. Because if we look at the... Uh I mean, stuff seems to be happening, but I guess with all the stuff, it's all got particles on it, so... All right. Well, anyway, we know that works, but obviously it's not working at all well. Let's um, turn the video settings down a bit more as well. Put on minimum. And do short here as well. All right. So that is going to work, and that's going to make mana steel ingots. So at least we actually demonstrate that works. So that's that's a good thing. All right. Hmm. You know what? I think I might just leave it uh, there for this episode. So yeah. Uh, in the next episode, I wonder if I can actually do this. But how do you make it again? We'd need the. Yeah, you see, I can actually do this now. Because I've got the mana pool, I can put... I can get these items, and I can make the runic altar. Hmm. And then we can really start going with it. So, yeah, I think um, next episode, I'm probably going to... Um, uh, ah. This is going to be very cool, I think. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going to move on with this in the next episode. Um, yeah, it's a nice time. Hello and welcome to Extra Utilities. 
I'm going to be looking at a few blocks. We're going to look at the angel block. Um, I'm also going to look at the division sigil. And I think that I may I may look at some, there's something else I might look at as well. Let's just look at these um, these recipes for a moment. Um, so the division sigil. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't have a recipe yet. What about the angel blocks that have a recipe? Yeah, obsidian holding it. So let's look at the just um, the angel block first. Um, so let's do that very briefly. So the angel block has the functionality that you can be place it, place it anywhere. So say I want to place it right here in the middle of the air. There it is. And that's obviously very useful because you don't have to, you know, nerd pole up um, and you can instantly just start building a platform wherever you like, which is pretty cool, actually. And there you go. You can just remove it and then do that. Now, the division sigil is a very, very powerful um, thing. So let's have a look at what it actually does. So get the enchantment table out. And we're going to, I'm just going to put some dirt here. So I'll put the enchantment table down and I'll click on the division and then I'll shift right click like it says. It says altar does not have a redstone circle. Altar can see the moon. It has sufficient natural earth. Altar must not be lit by outside sources. Too early sacrifice must be made at midnight. Okay, so there's a few things that um, are wrong here then. So what I'll do, so I'll surround, I'll surround, uh, this crafting table. Okay, let's get rid of these torches here. Now keep in mind, I've actually got infernal mobs and this will make, it will make sense in a moment. I've actually got infernal mobs, are the only mobs I've got at the moment. So it's gonna be an absolute, it's gonna be a real serious amount of shit going down here. Because I'm combining uh, infernal mobs with um, what this block does. So if we look at what we got now, let's have a look, see. I've got reds, yep, yep, yep. Let's not be lit by outside sources. All right, so there's still too many outside sources. Maybe that was the one that was the problem. No, still more. Where are the outside sources? Hmm, I'm not actually seeing any now. Maybe I need to just block this off. Maybe this is giving out light. Try it anyway. So how about now then? Okay. Maybe it's actually the water itself. Should right click on it. All right, let me go somewhere else then. This is not working. How about up here? No, it still doesn't like it. Here? Because it's got to be outside, so I haven't got much choice in that. Um, I 
It could just be that it's, it's no, you know what it is. I think it's just because it's daytime. Let's just stay here anyway. So if I turn it to midnight, it looks active now. Um, let's just check, see if it's going to work. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I've got another problem here. Now it's going to work. Too late, sacrifice must be made at midnight. All right, that's cool. Perform the sacrifice. Okay, so what we need to, what we need to do is we need to actually get an animal so we'll get a pig. So this is going to be... Alright, let's make it midnight again. No? Yep. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> this is going to be fucking fun. Oh shit, why am I fighting with that? Oh shit, where did my sword go? Oh, it's fucking been stolen, isn't it? Please, I've got my fucking sword. Get some of this earth as well. I need to get another sword, and I've got a bit of time here. In fact, I don't know why I'm, I've obviously got time. I didn't even know you could do it like that, but anyway. Where's my sword fucking going? Uh, these things keep on fucking stealing them. But anyway, yeah, the point was, it's not, this is not actually Infernal Mobs, so I'm not going to worry about these guys from now. Last. But yeah, with a silk tongue you can get, you can get this earth. Yeah. Never has fucking. Now, I want to get this down there. Where's my silk tank pick? It's gone. Let's just kill these guys first for a brief See the the hunger, the hunger overhaul stuff. Ooh. 
would have been perhaps been a little easier if I'd done this with normal mobs. You know, that's a serious blast off that one. All right. Anyway, so what you can do with the um, the silk touch? Is to see, there we go. You see, you get this cursed earth. So let me just give myself a bit more of that, actually. And this is another this is another ex utilities block. All right. So let's go somewhere else. So what we can do is we can basically just create a, a spawning platform for any type of mob, which is pretty cool actually. You can see the enemies are actually spawning. Because it's daytime it seems to be turning into regular earth though. There we go, you can see this is actually a spawner. Pretty cool effect. So yeah, I mean, so they're the basically the the, uh, the blocks I wanted to show, and there's actually another few blocks I want to show. So that's that anyway. I've, I've pretty much shown that. So I'm going to show a couple more blocks as well actually while I'm here. Okay, so let's go back into UX utilities. The other blocks I want to show. Um, now you need unstable ingots for this. Um, so you can see there's quite a lot here. Uh, um, let's see how I can think about doing this. So if you look here, right, you can make these different things. That's a rebuilding, etheric sword, destruction pickaxe, erosion shovel, healing axe, reversing who sonar goggles. They're pretty cool, the sonar goggles. That's quite a nice glass as well. Let's get the sonar goggles out. Um, wow, I've got so much shit in here now. I've got all my swords. Oh, maybe I just wasn't looking at them. So put the sonar... Wow, my fucking armour has got absolutely fucked. So we go ahead on the sonar goggles. Yeah, she gives us this gives us some pretty cool stuff. If I turned on which is the one for chunks as well. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I turn on chunks, this looks kinda of cool. So let's um I don't know where the spawn has gone now. There we go. So I'm trying to think, we'll see why actually it's different. I have a feeling though. Hmm. So that's the sign of Google. I believe there's a way to actually see sound. Because that's, I mean, that's what you would imagine it would be by the name of it. You may possibly need to use it with other items there. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a huge amount of difference here. Try to see if there's any kind of, there might be a configuration option for this. But anyway, so yeah, so Sonar Goggles. But anyway, these unstable ingots, let's um just do those for a moment actually. I'll make it daytime, I'll take these goggles off, put the helmet back on. Um so the unstable ingots now. Um, um 
like that. It's just, uh, it's, there's more ways to do that, I suppose. Hopefully, I'm, yeah, I'm in creative somewhere, right? Most of these guys are fucked off soon now. So, the unstable ingots are here. Divide by diamond. So what is this? Iron ingots, maybe? Um, you definitely need diamond for them. So how is this going to work, then? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to think about that one. But yeah, they will just just destroy after about ten seconds, there, unless you're in creative, of course. But anyway, let's look at what they can actually build. I will. I, I'm, I'm. I think you have to. You do have to do something with a metal and diamond, I believe. You definitely need diamonds for it anyway. So let's see. We've got creative builders wand. Interesting. Let's try that one. So this is probably a creative only. Probably need some blocks in our inventory. Let's use these bricks. We don't seem to be getting anywhere with this. What about the regular builder's wand? Maybe I need to press a button while I'm doing it, I'm not sure. What needs to be in an adjacent spot in the inventory, I don't know. To guess it's never normally like that. Hmm. So I might have to look up this stuff up then. What are the other ones we've got? The other ones probably make more sense. Destruction pickaxe. Well, I am creative, but still doesn't matter. Let's get the shovel out. There it is. I suppose you have to craft these things really fast. That seems pretty good. Let's look at the destruction pickaxe. Seems pretty good. Can you enchant these things? No. Alright. So... So yeah, what I'm going to do actually, I think I'm going to look at the tools in another episode where I can actually talk about them a little bit better. But yeah, so that's going to be it for the first episode. So until next time, thank you for watching.